y'all, it's about 6.37. Our second drop, I'm yelling because the truck is running, we're warming it up. Our second stop is at 7 o'clock and we're 3.4 miles away from the drop. Once we drop those two cases at this first food lion, you have one case to drop and another food lion. Right after. Right afterwards and it's 7.8 miles away. It, the GPS says it'll take about 18 minutes to get there. So we're going to have good time. Once we're done, we'll come back to the hotel. We're not going to rush out like we normally do. We're going to get our money's worth and stay at the hotel until, I don't know, check out or in the morning when we find a load to go back or what, whatever the case may be. But whatever we do, we'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> I know this video has been a little different because you saw a lot of us in the beginning shopping, hanging out, walking her getting something to eat, stuff like that. But we just wanted to show you the reality of what we do at times because the day was a little different. We don't normally go somewhere and spend money like we did today. But we found a good deal on some work shoes. You know, we splurge a little bit. Normally... All we don't splurge and normally y'all yeah. know that. You know, I try to hold real tight. When we home, I do a little shopping, right? But normally, when we on the road, we're going to take a load, do what we got to do, and get back home. Period. That's what we do, right, man? Right. And I, ain't really don't, I really don't have a whole lot going on back home as far as uh, lawn service and, you know, uh, stuff I need. I got some stuff I need to do at home, you know, clean out the gutters, make sure that's still secure, you know, all that kind of stuff right now. But uh, I got a lawn I got to do, too, a big, a big lawn I got to do, but it ain't no real rush, man. Ain't, like it is man. in the summertime. Right. Yeah. I believe I'm going to have to find get me, a, get me a little system and get me a reliable work and get me a crew and put them on this stuff right here, the right. lawn service thing. So you can get that off your plate. Right. Yeah. And I'll probably make a little money, you know, have the equipment and let them make the job of but some money better than no money. Yeah. You know, if I can escalate that thing right there, I might be able to, you know, get a job started for somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, but you had to be so careful, man, because, man, it, that lawn will cut your leg off, your feet off, and it's, it's, it's kind of hard for him to be the boss man instead of the worker, because nobody do it like him. He plays the pays real attention to detail, and he just does a great job with what he do. So, from what I see, it's kind of hard for him to step back and just allow somebody else to do it. So, I'm, I'm going to be praying that he finds somebody reliable. I had to be out there with him. And somebody work just as good as he do, so he, he can get to the point where he can trust him to be there without him. So we can do other things because, y'all, we got too many businesses that have our hands on every single thing. That's just the reality. Now, I know he ain't going to put nobody in the seal, but at some point, too, we probably going to have to get a, another truck and a driver and be business people and not owner-operator. So more on that coming soon. We'll see you guys at Food Line. We got hurt well enough. Yeah, he's in the truck. He probably think you done lost our mind. Let's go look at him. Oh, hurt. You ready? I ain't even got a job for hurt, dude. He gonna be the guard, though. You know that right, hurt? Hurt. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go, buddy. All right, y'all. We'll see you at Food Line. Out of the truck and started taking my clothes off. It's rainy, and under normal circumstances, like the last couple of days have been rainy and cold, but it actually feels pretty good out here. It's just been raining all day, so we'll need sweatshirts and hats and all of that other stuff. <laughs> so we had to, we had to let it go, anyway. Let it go. I think I better let it go. Looks like another love. Hey. Did it hurt? Get ready to head out. Get ready to head out. Come on up here. You want to get up here with no, me? No, don't start doing that. <laughs> All right, 
right y'all so we made it to the first drop they are here waiting on us shouldn't take long to get unloaded my hubby just pulled up to the dock door and yeah we getting ready to do it what up Box truck, couple guys first, family second, then the money. God first, family second, then the money. Yeah. We took some L's but still prevailed, I'm blessed, I ain't stressed A lot of signs you gotta peep on this road to success go. Got heavy eyes cause I don't sleep, I'm on the road to that check go. Got blood in my flesh, go. run it up to invest I cut some people off, we had to level up, ain't letting up Box truck couple, they can't mess with us, come mess with us Hard times don't humble us, they turn me up, I'm flexing, huh? Hard times don't humble us, they turn me up, I'm flexing, huh? Box truck couple, God first, family second, then the money, money Money, money we can talk some business if it's worth it, ain't no question, I want money, money Money, 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 money Let's go! We can talk some business if it's worth it, ain't no question, I want money, 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 money <laughs> Dispatch, just hit me up, by the load again, so we on that, so we on that, on that road again Amazons, we pulling up in budget trucks for show again, thanking God I know it's him, thanking God I know it's him 2.5k, that's just on our YouTube. Mess around, go up a thousand a day, drive a thousand miles a day. Every time they talk it down, it seems like we be miles away. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Box truck, couple guys first. To the second um, food lion, that's hubby back there turning around. He's getting ready to back into this dock right here. I'll turn you around. BP uh, gas station not too far from our second load. We have uh, unloaded both as you can see. Second load, it's the third load, third drop off. Well, second for today. This what? video was about those two. This, well, yeah. it's the third drop though for, for right. the trip, for the trip. So of course you know from the previous video, we did one drop yesterday. We had two today, so all three are completed and we are now empty. So we're fueling up. We're gonna spend the night at the hotel and we'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully we have a load coming back home. Happy Wednesday, family. Chrissy from the Box Truck Couple here. We have just, just cleaned out the room and uh, packed up the truck. Now I'm taking the actual keys to, to the office. Now you can normally leave them in the room they know you they know you've checked out or they'll check after checkout time but i want them to print me a copy of the receipt for my paper records so i'm turning in the keys
Walter went to walk Herc, so I shut the truck. And we're getting ready to head home. Hey, somebody back there? Yeah. yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm checking out of room 144. Okay. I wanted to get a paper copy oh, of the receipt. Yeah. All right. Good morning, y'all. We are. All ready to go, we're checked out. Check the room one last time. There's a tip in the room. Um, and now we're going to, we've already put our home address in the GPS, but we're going to try to find a McDonald's on the way so we can get coffee and breakfast. And then we're gonna hit the road, y'all, straight. Get on home. Um, I know we said we were gonna look for a load, and we did. I got up around 6.15 and started looking for loads. Nothing coming directly out of Wilmington all morning. There are some areas that you had to deadhead. One of them would have been perfect going to Macon. However, we would have had to deadhead two hours in the opposite direction to pick it up and then take it to Macon, which is near where we live. So it just didn't make sense to do that. We also looked at Amazon. I saw a couple good ones. One was picking up in Pula, Georgia going to ATL 6, which is where we live. It was paying almost $700, but Pula, Georgia is out of the way. We would have had to go all the way to near Charleston to pick it up, near Savannah to pick it up, and then take it to where we live. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to, we're going to deadhead. We made enough money on this trip to deadhead home, but we don't want to do extra deadhead to pick up a load. Do we, babe? Definitely not. No. And so, um, then there was one picking up in Columbia going to MG9, which is near us. But um, we don't have a pallet jack, so we can't really run Amazon. We had to leave our pallet jack. So we're gonna get on home. We both have things to do th th tomorrow, which is Thursday and Friday. So we're gonna get on home and get ready for the next one. Going home to make some money, ain't that right, Herc? Yep, going home to make some money, so. Make some money here, make some money there, make some money everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll probably keep the camera on throughout this trip home just to show you what it's like for us when we did head home. A lot of times we show you our trips, but not always what we do on our dead head. So, you chewing up my blue bag. What did you Where you are, blue bag? All my stuff in the bag. Okay. Hercules, you gonna tell the people good morning, huh? Hercules, your nose so cold. Why your nose so cold? Why your nose so cold?
GPS says 451. So we doing pretty good. Smiling faces and beautiful places. <laughs> Y'all, he left her in the truck. Left her in the oh, truck. I can't go and walk. <laughs> oh, didn't even bring her in the diner, y'all. First, you mean you gotta go. <laughs> don't fight around. Okay, you think that's fine. <laughs> left her in the truck. Now, we taking a quick break, grabbing us some lunch. We didn't eat breakfast at the McDonald's. I think we're in Dillon. I know we're in Dillon County. We just crossed over into South Carolina and got off the exit pass um, south of the border. So, we do that with enough ketchup, y'all. So we're gonna eat our um, lunch and get back on the road. Making good time, it's 12.23. So we'll see you guys at Bucky's because we still gotta get food. I doubt if Hurt goes to the restroom over here, y'all, because it's just too many different animals. He just, he get caught up sniffing. He been to the bathroom. He get excited. He smell all these different dogs. We're out at Bucky's, y'all. Bucky's in Florence, South Carolina. And uh, y'all know we always stop. Fuel's $4.99 for diesel here. And, uh, my husband went ahead and topped it off. He ain't gonna do nothing. He just sniffing. So uh, it's time to get back on the road. All right, y'all, time to do the switch of room. See if we can't get this thing on down the road a little bit farther with me. Hopefully he don't fuss too much. Hopefully I drive right. Hopefully I don't have no accident, period. Have no accident. Hopefully I don't drive like Miss Daisy. These are all the things that he say. Well, you drive like Miss Daisy now, Cole. <laughs> hey, man, give me a break. Give me a break. So, trying to get everything right. Turn my music on. Just drive like you both to drive, like you want to drive. Trying to drive like I want to. It's too dangerous out here. People doing all that. You, you hey! Need to, you need. You need to take them on, cause you already can't see. Here we go. <laughs> Finna start up already. Sun's bright. All right, y'all. You gotta get out of here before you do something like that on the straightaway. See, y'all mm. got you guys a little later. Y'all see what I had to start put up with, man. Here we go. Just some logic, just a little logic. They're like I'm finna do her right here. Here we go, y'all. Sit. Sit. Right there. We made it to Georgia. We stopped at uh we stopped at a rest stop right past the Applin exit to go to the Amazon. We stopped at a rest stop right there because I've been driving since Bucky's and born in South Carolina which is probably about 150, 160 miles. So I really had to go to the restroom. But um, I went and used the restroom and now we're trying to get her to stop playing long enough to go. Sometimes he gets super distracted. Like if it's an area where a lot of dogs have been around or if he just need time out of the truck and wants to play. But, uh, Walter went to the restroom, so when he comes back, we'll get back on the road. <laughs> 